Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how you can say you to another person using casual speech. Now, we previously learned how to say you a number of ways when we are learning about how to speak honorifically or politely, but there are also several in casual speech. And the one that you use will depend on who you're talking with, as well as on the amount of politeness that you're using. We also learned that most of the time, it's not necessary to say you. Honorific speech can be used when talking about someone else, and if that person you're talking about is also the person you're talking to, then the word you can be assumed. However, when you're not using honorific speech or titles, there will be times that you will need to say you, such as in casual speech. First, let's talk about using no. This is often the most common way to casually say you, but it's not going to be appropriate in some situations. No, as well as its other versions, can only be used in casual speech. It should never be used when speaking politely. In addition, no can only be used with close friends who are the same age as you or younger. It should never be used toward anyone who is older, even if you're close. Again, even when using casual speech, no would not be used toward an older friend. Even if a close friend gives you permission to speak casually, you should still not use no, unless of course they say, call me no. An exception is couples who can be considered equals. Couples will discuss how they should call each other and may prefer to use other titles. For example, oppa, nuna, etc. So then why shouldn't no be used to anyone who's older than you, even if you're close? Well, that's because this word actually has slightly the feeling of talking down to someone. Now, when used correctly, it does not sound rude, but it doesn't have a soft feel. So, I just want to make that clear. Feel free to use no correctly, it is a normal word. But when it's not used correctly, such as to someone older, or to a stranger, for example, no can sound almost like a swear word. Therefore, with close friends who are older than you, use what we've already learned. This includes words like hyung, oppa, nuna, and onni. Or with close friends who are the same age as you or younger, you can also use their name. And in fact, concepts like these can also be confusing even for native Korean speakers at times. So it's often common just to ask someone else what you should call them. Here are some examples of how you can directly ask someone casually what they'd like to be called. 내가 어떻게 부르면 좋을까? How should I refer to you? 내가 뭐라고 부를까? What shall I call you? 내가 뭐라고 부르면 돼? What should I call you? And here's one example of how you can reply casually. 빌리라고 불러줘. Please call me Billy. Remember that this becomes 라고 after a vowel and 이라고 after a consonant. You have one more option, of course, when you're talking to friends who are the same age as you or younger, you can also just use their name. But not only their name, you might need to add E to the end. Here's how that works. Again, this is only when you're speaking casually with that friend. So to use it, you'll take a friend's name and attach E if their name ends in a consonant. Or if their name ends in a vowel, you can just use their name as is. For example, you can talk about your friend Minu as just Minu, and Pekhyun as Pekhyuni. Using someone's name in this way has a friendlier feel than just using no. Again, using someone's name by itself like this is only for friends who you're speaking casually with. You should not refer to your boss or a senior coworker by using their first name. You can also use family titles, Hyung, Oppa, Nuna, and Onni together after a name like this. For example, Minu Hyung for an older male friend named Minu, or Baekhyun oppa for an older male friend named Baekhyun. In a later lesson, we'll also learn how you can ask for and give permission to speak casually with friends who are a different age. So, we learned that you can use a friend's name or adding E to the friend's name if they're younger than you or the same age, but this is different when you're calling out to them. When you're calling out to them, you wouldn't use E. Instead, you would either use Ya or a. Ah. So again, this is when calling out to a close friend who's the same age as you or younger. If their name ends in a vowel, attach ya. Or if their name ends in a consonant, attach a. Ah. 
So you can call out to your friend Minu as Minuya and Pekhyun as Pekhyuna. Note that this ya is not the same as the exclamation word ya, which means hey, and is a strong way to yell at someone. Okay, I have a few notes for this lesson, but first let's do a listening practice. Here, two friends happen to meet each other. First, Ujin says, Oh, Temina, Odiga? Huh? Temin? Where are you going? To which Temin replies, Na Suyani Mannaro ka. I'm going to meet Suyan. Nodo Kachi Gale? Do you want to go together too? Suyani? Suyan? Kure? Okay. Nado Kachi Gale. I want to go together too. Kure? Okay. Pakeso Kidarike. I'll wait outside. Chanchani nawa. Come out slowly, or more naturally, take your time coming out. Oh, Temina, Odiga? Na Suyani Manaroga. Nodo Katigale? Suyani? Gre, Nado Katigale. Gre, Pakeso Kidarike. Chanchani nawa. Before we go on to our notes for the lesson, take a look at this quick quiz and see if you can answer the questions on your own. You can pause the video here and then resume it when you're ready for the answers. Here are the answers. First, true. No should not be used toward anyone older than you, even if you're friends. Next, to call out to a friend, attach a ah if their name ends in a consonant, or attach ya ah if their name ends in a vowel. And last, it's okay to use someone's first name, or by adding e, as long as you know them personally. This one is false. And finally, some notes about this lesson. First, don't stress too much about misusing casual speech, or in fact, any politeness level. This is because native speakers will not expect you to be perfect, and most won't mind if you speak a bit too formally or a bit too casually. But the more you improve, the more you'll be seen by native speakers as a person who understands the Korean language and culture. So in this lesson, we learned several ways that you can refer to other people in casual speech, as well as how to say you. In the next lesson, we're going to start talking about informal grammar. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next lesson. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.